Last week I showed you what happened to a coke can if we sanded the top and added some gallium. The aluminium sort of absorbs the gallium and the top became soft and almost stretchy. But the body of the can seemed unaffected. So this week I'm going to try again to see if we can make the whole can sort of disintegrate. So I took a fresh can of coke and pierced a couple of holes in it to empty it out. I wanted to leave the ring pull closed. Then I decided to cut the bottom off using a sharp knife, like this. I washed it out and carefully dried it with some kitchen paper. Then I took some sandpaper, sanded down the opening, then sanded down the entire inside of the can. This will help the aluminium to absorb the gallium to form a brittle alloy. I used a screwdriver to help me get right to the end of the can. I shook out the dust, and you can see it's nicely abraded. I also sanded the top of the can. Next, I warmed up some gallium metal in a bowl, filled up a syringe, and squirted it inside the can. I tilted and span the can to coat the entire inside with a layer of gallium. I tipped out the excess, stood the can up, and added some more gallium to the top. I left it for about an hour, and you can see how it affects the can. The paint started to crack and flake, particularly around the top. It still looks like a can of coke, but its strength has certainly been affected. Look what happens when I poke my finger into the side. It goes straight through the can. And I can just pull pieces straight off. Pretty cool, huh? I can just pull the top straight off and push my thumb right the way through it. And it's become so brittle that I can just crush the whole thing in my hand. The can isn't even really sharp anymore, it just disintegrates. And I can even crush the whole thing in my hand, like this. It breaks up into these tiny little bits. And because gallium is non-toxic, it's safe to touch with your hands. And this black residue will just wash off with warm soapy water. The very base of the can doesn't seem to have been affected quite as much as the rest of the can. I can still break it up, but it does seem a bit tougher. And here's a bit more footage from a couple of test cans I did when I was filming this project. It's amazing to just disintegrate a can into pieces in your hand, like this. or push the top straight through. And the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.